spending way more on maintenance than I was planning to, which means I'm losing money again. I'm home, had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, I did the maintenance today. Uh, Jim Fastbinder again saves the day by giving me his old drive tires and more on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker, filmed before a live and furry studio audience. That is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. Alright, so here it is, um, Friday night, the 25th, the day after tea giving, the old Thanksgiving, and uh, that was good, at least. We had a really great day, uh, all day with the family, uh, gotta have the turkey and the mashed potatoes, and my, I, I said before, my wife buys these gold potatoes, the, oh, they're, they're so buttery tasting, it's a beautiful thing. Had real turkey, we had the, uh, Honey baked ham turkey. Uh, yeah, I just like the the turkey, the mashed potatoes, the gravy, the Jello, uh, the rolls. Uh, I'm done there. My wife likes the sweet potato casserole. Uh, my daughter likes that too. And uh, you know, we're pretty basic, but we'll have plenty of leftovers. So I'll be taking that back out in the truck with me if I ever get a load again that pays anything decent, which I'm not too uh, positive about. Well, spent the day, okay, for, uh, for my update, for my last load, I was on my way back, delivered in Henderson, Colorado. We've got a problem with the last two loads I did. I, I may not even get paid for those. Uh, the factory company is rejecting them for payment. It uh, looks like one of them might have been double brokered. Uh, we're still trying to investigate. Big pain in the ass. So it means uh, I may have... <laughs> The last week I've been driving, uh, it may all be for free. Even though I spent the money on the fuel and everything else. So I may be eating that. That's hopefully to be resolved. We'll just see. Uh, and then today, uh, we had a great Thanksgiving day. After we had the Thanksgiving meal, uh, we, we always play the, the, the You Don't Know Jack or the Jack Party Pack or whatever uh, on the TV with the phones and all that. And always great fun. We, had, we were laughing our butts off. Um, that's one thing our family always does. We have a great time on stuff like that, and we had, well, there was this, and then we played this card game, basically a version of, if, for those of you my age, remember the old match game, where they, where they always tried to do sexual innuendo stuff, and it was always, well, Johnny was walking down the street and accidentally fell on his blank. Same kind of thing, you got these cards that had a start, and then you got the cards that had finishes, and you tried to come up with the funniest finish. Um, I can't remember what the name of the game was called. Cards Against Humanity, or I, I don't know, something like that. But it was, it was hilarious, fun. So we had the whole day together as the family, and it really was a good time. Then today came, Friday, the uh, 25th, and everything went to crap. I've had this ABS issue on my truck for months, literally months. And I know back in March, I had both of the ABS sensors for the truck replaced, and I still have the ABS light keeps coming on. Not all the time, just randomly. Sometimes it'll be a few hours into my drive, sometimes a whole day, sometimes immediately. And it usually says the right sensor is open. Uh, all right, so I had them both replaced in March, uh, and I had the right one replaced a few weeks ago. Uh, and so since it's still under warranty, I brought it back to Sap Brothers today and said, all right, look, try this again. They spent like, oh, two hours trying to figure it out. They finally replaced the sensor again. And I can sadly say, unfortunately, it didn't fix it. So I'm thinking it's, it's a wiring issue. And of course, the wiring harness is like $450. The local Freightliner doesn't have it, of course. And I, but I can't spend the money on, on fixing that right now. I spent more money than I was planning on today. I knew I had to do the DOT, the PM, uh, and swap out trailer tires. Thank you, Jim Fastbinder, for those, by the way. He got new drive tires on his truck, oh, a couple of weeks ago, and said, well, they're not willing to pay me any really money for uh, these old tires. Do you want me to tell them to put them aside for you, for your trailer? I'm like, yes, please, because I've had issues with my trailer tires ever since I lost those two wheels, blah, 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 and so they're wearing unevenly. I've got problems, issues. Uh, his drive tires were really in pretty good shape, and, then, and old drive tires make great trailer tires. So for the less, less than the cost of one trailer tire, I got all eight, and I'll get at least another six months out of those, easily if not more. So Jim Fastminder, again, thank you so much for that, buddy. You really saved my arse on that, so let's take a look at doing some of that. 
All right, here at Sap Brothers, getting uh, DOTs done on the truck and trailer, oil change on the truck, uh, grease on the trailer. I ended up having to buy two sets of new uh, brake pads for the rear axle on the truck, two new drums for the rear axle on the truck, trying to get the ABS issue fixed, and now we're working on the trailer. And what we're doing here is uh, Jim Fastbinder, a good buddy of mine who found me on the YouTube channel, left me his old drive tires. See, they even have my name on them. Right there, clutch. <laughs> uh, you can see the CLU. So these are his old drive tires, which we're now gonna put on my trailer. So I'll have eight matching trailer tires that are all, yeah, see, they all have my name on them. <laughs> all in pretty good shape and they'll make great trailer tires and they'll all match and uh, old drives are great for trailer tires. They got harder sidewalls. So hopefully I'll have a little smoother ride. All right, this is Burke here at Sap Brothers. He's been working his ass off in my truck all afternoon. And uh, now we're doing the trailer. We're about to do all the trailer tires. Yep. So we appreciate Burke. And Burke, uh, I found out, if you, those of you who uh, remember my channel way back, when I lost the whole spindle and everything, and I had to have that axle surgeon. Unfortunately, I was in New York. Because here, Burke, you can do that, right? Correct, yeah. We weld at Saps, we weld spindles, and we do kingpins. So you guys are the axle surgeons. We are the axle surgeons. We awesome. go to um, we went to the United Axle School. Cool. And so now we're doing that. All right, there's all the drives to become trailer tires in the truck. There's a close-up, and there's my name on them. What do you think? Hey. But I was over at Sap Brothers all day after I was at the uh, Freightliner this morning. They didn't have the wiring harness. I did get a new cab air filter, I got two of them actually, and a new engine air filter, because I can replace those myself easily. I'm not paying a shop to do that. Uh, but then I had to go over and do everything else today, and it took them a few hours to get me in. So in the meantime, I resolved my whole debit card issue. You might have remembered from a, a few videos ago, when I was down in Texas, my debit card got compromised. The fraud department calls me and says, yeah, we've got these charges for this dating and escort service. I'm like, yeah, that wasn't me. So I had to cancel the card, which means now I've got all these things I have set up on automatic payments on my debit card, like my prepass, my DAT board, uh, load board thing, uh, AT&T, uh, Audible for audiobooks, uh, my Amazon stuff's all through that, my Apple stuff's all through that, uh, plus more. So, you know, I'd have to spend all the time getting all that redone. Luckily, the card showed up in the mail today, and so while I was waiting to get into Sap Brothers, I had to spend hours on the phone updating all that crap. Don't you love that? You know, a little crap in modern day life that takes all your time and all it does is waste your time. Got all that finally reset up again. They finally get me in, they're working on things. Then they find <clears throat> that my, um, Brake pads on my rear axle on both sides are cracked and uh, my drum has too much of a lip on it, so I got to replace all that. <sighs> Wasn't planning on that payment. So the drums were $500 a piece for this truck. The brakes, well, the brakes, they're not that bad. They're 130 bucks for the brake kit, 90 bucks to put them on, you know, so I kind of expected that. And again, and the trailer tires, a bargain, I replaced all eight for the cost of one trailer tire. Thank you, Jim, again, buddy. And uh, so I'll get another six months out of that. But then it was more money than I was planning on spending. So I spent almost $2,200. That's about what I've made in the last two weeks, which I may not even get paid for. So I had, I've had a really lousy freaking day. I'm not in a good mood. Everything's been going wrong. And then I, I, after I, they brought the truck in, I was on the phone with brokers all day trying to find loads that still aren't paying for crap. There's loads going from Denver to, to Chicago area in Illinois. Uh, 966 miles, they're paying 850. Way less than a dollar a mile. It costs more than a buck a mile for fuel. I found one that paid two bucks a mile out of here. I didn't dare take it because I didn't want to screw up again and uh, go to the wrong place. So I started looking for loads that could maybe complement that afterwards. And the best I could come up with was over another week, maybe making $1,400. I just spent almost 2,200. 
I'm still trying to catch up on credit cards. And uh, it's pretty sad right now. If it keeps going like this, I'm going to have to park the damn truck. I said that before when I was with Turquoise. Unfortunately, I'm having to say it again with Whitestones. I hope things get better. But I have to make a certain amount of money every week. I can't just wait it out if the loads are that bad. Some people can do that. I got a whole family I got to support. But if I'm only going to be making, you know, $1,200 a week, I can go f work at freaking Burger King. So I've had a lousy day. Lousy freaking day. In so many ways. On so many levels. I'll tell you, I'd like to find all these freaking morons who are taking these loads that pay less than a, mi a dollar a mile and, and taking those and just beat the living <coughs> out of them. Freaking... They're killing it for all of us. So, you know, like I've said before, you're complaining about stuff costing a lot more now. When more drivers keep dropping off and just parking their trucks, which I I really don't want to have to do, but by God! It's getting frightening. Mark keeps saying hang in there. I'm trying to hang in there. But I can only hang in so long. And now on a lighter note, some fun Thanksgiving pictures. Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. Yeah, just a little update. Uh, <laughs> a little frustrated. Um, trying to stay positive. But boy, is it tough. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe, please like and comment, get to your comments as soon as I can. Sometimes it takes a day or two because I'm a working truck driver, maybe. Uh, there's Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter, that's where I always put Rusty stuff. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust, Clutch and Rusty, out. I've been in many terrible, tragic situations like this before, but never one where the parking is, is so terrible. There it goes, all right. You just have to chew it on the clutch trucker couch, not in your little pet bed there. Sorry about that. I was moving things around when we were trying to hook up that damn e-log. Oh well. There's another uh, cab air filter. Changed one I buy. They're only nine bucks a piece when you buy them at the Floyd's Freightliner. Or if you buy them at a TA or Petro or something, they're 30 or 40 bucks. Or Love, something like that. How's it going? Oh, munch, munch, munch. Happy dog. Happy dog. Happy dog. Alrighty, Rusty. I think you almost got it. Yeah, baby. Alrighty. Can we get the happy dog look? Rusty! Look up here, buddy. Hello? Rusty?